Okay. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they didn't understand exactly what you want. Yeah. So now it's kind of like I, I take a step back before I take the step forward. I take right. the step back to evaluate what is it that I really want, mm -hmm. that I make it real clear, mm -hmm. and do I really know what I really want within me? And that's what I focus on. That's really, that's very beautiful. Drop the attachment and let, let what did you say? Let, let, let go and let, let God. Let go and let God. I, I love that. That's amazing. Can we give it another name or, or uh, another word that comes to my mind explaining this? Maybe surrender? Yes. I, I, you know what? Mm, I love this word. Yes, it's surrender. It's really changed my life. Yeah. Yes. Surrender. I, I surrender. Mm. And we can do that in so many ways. When people have addictions, when people have an abusive problems, when people have an, and I'm talking Conflict, about. Conflict, or when they're struggling with something that we don't know where we're going or what, what, what is it leading. And mostly it's what, if, you, if I think what is required from me to get there. And then there will be so many options and so many ways and so many things or any conflict could situation. I think surrender, uh, let's just, I, I would say what, I, what it means to me and let me see uh, how, how does it land for you. Uh, surrender, it's not don't do things or just, just sit laid back and wait for things to happen. It's give the best you can, but then don't be attached to the outcome of any situation. Mm. Right. Yes, Just yes. do what you can. Do the best you can. As, as I mean, as much as you can, as per your knowledge. But then surrender to a bigger force or a su super power that you cannot. That, of course, can guide you to a better solution or a better directions. Uh, and have a faith on that. It's surrender and faith. Right. Yes. I surrender the, the issue to a bigger power, and then have a faith that what is coming is the best for me. Yes. And, and believe, in, when you use the word faith, we have to believe and understand that uh, when you surrender, that means really let it go. Some people, I, and I'm not going to say some people, let's talk, I, I try to more focus on myself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I say I surrender, but do I really surrender? Okay, good you know, one, very you, good. You know, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Sometimes I, I say, oh, I'm not worried about it, but yet I still worry. And, and so that means that I didn't really let it go. It, maybe sometimes we intellectually agree on something or, or, or understand it, but do we really implement it on ourselves, on situations? If I hear you right, I think this yes. is what you mean. Yes. Uh, I, I really, again, want to acknowledge Rodney for, I've always loved this in you, it's uh, how clear you are with yourself. You know how to read your, your feelings, your emotions, and you're very, you're very open with yourself. And I think this is part of how it was, uh, I mean, the coaching was uh, was good with you or, or good for you because you're ready to, to take it in. You're very clear and you, you confront yourself. You don't have any shame to, you know, to, to face yourself with any things, whether it's good or it's bad. Yes. And this is great quality. Really, it's great quality to be able to be open with yourself. Well, that's, so, where, that's what I would like uh, for all of the viewers. Yes to understand the reason mm. why we are doing this publicly because what you have been showing me um, this can work for so many people now I'm gonna give you a situation that happened about a, a, a last week or so mm -hmm. I was in this I'm not gonna call names or anything but I was participating in a situation and there's some good people that's making some things happen right mm -hmm. and what I know what I want to bring to the table is the goodness of it but then it was other people who were not bringing that goodness. And I allowed them to gravitate me in that direction. Hmm. And I got frustrated because I just want to do what's right. I don't want to do what they are doing, if I'm making sense. So these individuals were doing something behind the backs of the individuals who were in charge, right? They gave mm -hmm. us instructions. Mm -hmm. And I respect the instructions. So then I found myself, instead of doing what just I was supposed to do, I was watching other actions of other people and allowed myself to start participating. Oh, okay. Right? Okay, interesting. So mm -hmm. when, I, when I realized when I, I was participating in something that wasn't really going right, 
I had to remove myself. Remember what you told me? I was when, just gonna ask how. When, what I do, when when I start getting frustrated, I got my band, I start to hold on to it, and then it makes me start to make the decision. And immediately, what I did was remove myself from the situation. Okay, what was the sign? I mean, how did you feel that you've been pulled to a situation that does not uh, in alignment with you? Because I didn't feel good about you it. You didn't feel good about it. What, what did you feel? Is it physical or what? It was a. It was a. It was in my stomach almost. It was. Oh, okay. It was a sense of I was doing something wrong. I, I, I was participating in something that wasn't really. Uh, uh, it wasn't right. It doesn't feel. It, it didn't feel good. It doesn't feel good, and it's not in alignment with itself. This is another very, very, very important point. Our body doesn't lie to us, so I would always encourage everyone, and, and, and you're good at that too. Uh, when we we look and ha know how to understand and read our physical body, because it immediately it will give you a sign. Like you said, you felt it in your stomach. Some people feel it in the shoulders. I feel it in the shoulders. Uh, somebody else will feel it. I mean, it, it could be any, but, but we have to read our sensation, our body sensation, because it carries a message. Yes. And that could be a sign to, to um, this situation does not suit me or does not, it doesn't feel right to me. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So, yeah, carry on, please. That's so, interesting. So, so, so actually what it did, um, I went home. And I found myself that I had to, I had to evaluate myself, and I wanted to know did I do the right thing. And in the end, I did, because I was able to feel good that I made the right decision to honor the individuals who I'm there to support, mm -hmm. not to participate in things that's going to be something that I can't be proud about. Very good. Were you able to take that action then, or you thought about it and then you you took a different action the next morning? Or no, I took that action immediately. Right away. Mm. And then also I was able to relay the message to the individuals whom I was trying to uh, be. And I'm, I don't know if the word obedient, um, I was following the instructions, you know. But, it, 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 see... I, th I think that where a lot of us get confused, and this is where having a psychiatrist, life coach, a pastor, a support. Uh, having or a support. having support, mm. right, mm. makes a difference. Mm. The, 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 some of the things that you told me just may be real small, but mean a lot. I'm happy to hear that, really. And I'm happy you're implementing that. You're really taking it very serious and taking it, uh, to the right way, the right way. You're doing it the very right way. I cannot be more proud of you. <laughs> well, I believe that it takes one to teach one. Teach one. Now, it also takes a village to raise a, a kid. <laughs> we, we use that terminology. I also believe if I smile at you, you'll <laughs> smile back. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So, so the teaching that you give me, I just implement it and keep moving forward. And you're inspiring me too. I mean, it's two ways. The journey, it's, it's two ways, right? I mean, the way I see you, how you take things serious and how you focus in implementing it and, 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 and how excited are you about any concept that we discuss, this is also very inspiring. And, and I love it. Nothing make a coach happier more than this, to see that it's working. Well, you, 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 mm. you, you got on me. You was like, so we haven't been having our sessions on yes. a regular, right? I want to now complain <laughs> to everyone. He's not being regular. Yeah, so <laughs> so it wasn't that I was running from the sessions. It was because they was working. And and so... Yes, but commitment and consistency, it's important. Right. right? So that's, I got you. Yeah, we, everybody. Uh, coaches, not coaches, therapists. I mean, it's not important that we know it in our mind. We have to be consistent and we have to remind ourselves every day with what we want to do. Before we finish our part, do we want to conclude maybe uh, just a few things we said about what we're carrying on for the new year? Well, I again, uh, I'm fine. Just let's name it, you know, name the values, let's call it, or principles that you're going to stick with for uh, 2022? Well, one of them is definitely going to be committed to letting go and letting God. Letting go and let God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I will not surrender. You will surrender. You, you will not give up. No. Well, when I say I will not surrender, I will not surrender 
my dignity and my morals for personal gratification. Great one. Mm -hmm. What I will continue to do is to stand for what I stand for, and that is I am my brother's keeper. Mm -hmm. But in that process, I know that I have to have help, and I will not be ashamed to get it or ask for it. Very good one. <laughs> Very good one. May I suggest to add another one? That's taking care of yourself, loving yourself. Yes. Okay? Very important. Very important. I, I struggle with that. That's I struggle with. I struggle with that a uh, lot. Yes. But yeah. But just keep it in mind. Loving yourself, taking care of yourself, and not being so demanding of you. I, I am I'm probably my biggest critic. Uh, one of the things that I do, I look for perfection. But nobody's perfect. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it gets me in trouble because I want people to do things the way that I think that it should be done, which is not all the time right. But now, but now you, you've been aware of this, and I'm sure it will automatically uh, come to you when, when, when you're in certain situations. I think just being aware of it, it helps to implement it. It yes. helps. At least it helps. But taking care of yourself is, is uh, I don't want you to over, I mean, I'm suggesting don't overwhelm yourself. Uh, yes, working hard and having plans and, you know, doing the best you could do, but always be kind about yourself always in a certain situations or sometimes just consider yourself a third party looking at you and and being your friend that's how I look at you know me being my friend you know so in that situation you would say the comforting words or the right things and just being kind to yourself in general just be more kind to yourself you are now but it we're just adding it to what we're uh, taking away with us for 2022. For you to say that, this is why I do believe in God. You just gave me confirmation of something that I realized, that I heard mm. um, last night. A gentleman said, when you wake up in the morning, mm -hmm. what's the first thing that most people do? They rub their eyes or they, they, you know, they scratch mm. or something. He said, but one of the first things you should do is smile. Oh, interesting. He and 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 I when I, I I didn't understand what he meant, but we should smile and be gracious that we have another day to be able to have a better choice, to be a better person, to be giving and loving. That's amazing. So when you smile, you're actually setting the mood for the day. Yes. Yes. So he's sitting because we have the tendency when we wake up in the morning to oh remember what happened last night, uh, what did what did I do? Uh, so immediately, if you don't catch yourself and do this smile, you can go back to the mood of whatever happened yes yesterday or the day before. And so you catch yourself before going that and do the smile. I love that and gratitude or say thank you God and just pay pay the pay the gratitude for for the day. I, I and decide on that minute how you want your day to go. Yes. Mm -hmm. That smile starts my day and puts me in a position. Oh, we got somebody? Well, we got a couple of comments. Um, William Slade said, yes, ma'am, she is right. I love it. Faustine King is, been re is being real with who you are. She also says, standing in your truth is liberating. Absolutely. William Slade says, self-concept and self-love is a must. He also says, that's powerful. Our bodies do not lie to us. Yes. Okay. And, and that's what, again, um, what I've been getting, and I appreciate you. I thank you. See, I don't believe things happen by accident. No. <laughs> you, you, when I prayed on something, God put you in my life, and I never forget. And, and I, so we, I'm going to come out. I got, I got to be honest about something. When asking you to, to, to do this, I know it's a lot of people that can be blessed with what you shared with me, mm -hmm. the, those, those, those sessions. It may be somebody out there that's struggling with some kind of drug addiction or some kind of abuse or something that you can't beat. But having somebody to talk to 
it, it, it means a lot, especially when it's somebody who's not judgmental. It always has to be someone who's not judgmental. I mean, if you're sharing something deep and that it touches you, it always has to be someone who's not judgmental. Your coach, your therapist, your friend, your co-worker, your, it has to be someone. Judgment will, will stop you, right? It will shut you immediately. Yes. It has to be a safe environment, and that's what we create for each other. Well, that's what you created for me. Um, and put, you for me, too. Yeah, you put me in that position. So, again, the reason why I wanted to share that for everyone, um, uh, please know that uh, uh, we are looking forward to the future with Hanadi, uh, the life coach. Um, I am not ashamed that I have one. I'm not ashamed that I have a, 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 a therapist. I'm not ashamed that I have a doctor. No, that is you're healthy. Yeah. So, so in this process, <laughs> I'm also not ashamed that I love God, and I'm I'm standing firm on that. I'm standing firm on that because I know that doing this cleansing, cleansing, great word, another great word. Yes. Mm. Dissecting my negative habits and removing them is going to be a blessing for me that it would make me a blessing for others. That's great. That's a great way to end our part today. <laughs> I thank you so much. I thank you more. <laughs> hey, everybody just tuning in. You already know this is real. This is a uh, uh, people to people. And uh, we, we have uh, uh, Miss Hanadi that's going to be here every Wednesday um, um, to help coaches. Please, please take advantage of this opportunity to call in. 703-752-6120. Ask her questions. Maybe they can they, they can uh, suggest a topic that we talk about. Yes. Discuss. Yeah, that would be awesome. Th that, that would be good. Mm. So give us topics for uh, uh, the life coach to talk about and uh, let us um, grow together. Let's grow together. How about that? <laughs> That's great. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>
I like that. I, you know what? So, I had an opportunity uh, over the, uh, Chris, uh, the, the the Christmas day uh, was with some friends, and, and 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 when we woke up the next morning, we we got into the Word, and it has become a tattoo to my heart. Mm-hmm. Um, and I like what you said when you said that your cup was full. Mm-hmm. See, my cup, I felt was full too. But when I start to analyze everything around me, it wasn't full. It wasn't full. It wasn't even overflowing. But do you have two cups or one? I got one cup. I have two. What what is yours? So there's the outer, I guess, shell of the belief of the cup. I'm happy. I have everything going for me. I have a wonderful house. I have, you know, I have love around me. I have a job that, you know, respects me and pays me, you know, what I need to to give me everything I need. But spiritually, I wanted more and didn't know it. And the thing is, is that I was like, God, he had a calling for me. He told me, so the whole thing started with a vision board. So there was this, like, I guess, cup of the world of expectations. Is your cup full? And then there's the cup of your spirituality and your soul, your, the calling that God has put into your heart. And then when I woke up and I guess noticed that there was a calling, I, but at first I had to notice that my spiritual cup wasn't full, which got me connected to a deeper level to God. And then he told me his purpose was for me to spread his love all over the earth. And then he was like, I'm going to fill your cup up. So then he, I said, well, how do I spread your love? Like, is it a hug to people? Is it saying good morning to everybody? Is it doing people favors? You know, I'm doing all this external things. And he was telling me, by getting one with me, spending all your time with me, letting me make love to you, make me be your lover, make me be your everything. Like, it was deeper than what I've ever experienced. And because I haven't been like in my word like I was in ministry, he gave it to me in a different way. He gave me a love song. He gave me That's the Way Love Goes. And he gave, um, gave me uh, Let Me Count the Ways. So those were his songs to say, you can never do anything wrong. I will always be in love with you. You will always be mine. And this is how you will spread your love. While you take in my love and we become one and we entwine on a level that I've never seen before. So, um, and then you go outwards and you just be who you are in your purpose. And then he took it deeper. I lost my thought, but it was so deep. He said, it was so deep. He said, uh, as you live in your purpose, oh, when you get filled with the Holy Spirit. So it's different. So it's like you can have that feeling. So when you get like filled with the Holy Spirit, sometimes you have to take that off because when you get filled with the Holy Spirit, you're so, it's so powerful that for me, I'm down on my knees. I can't walk. I can't talk. I can't drive a car. I can't go out and talk to people. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. So this is a way he says that you can be filled with love and you can feel that love all the time and take it with you. You can feel this all the time and spread your love to everybody. That's how you're going to spread my love all over the earth. This is how your spiritual cup is going to be filled. And I feel like my soul is full now. I get my purpose that he has for me. And my walk is different. My talk is different. Like I said, oh, I'm not going to, you know, talk about, you know, God to everybody because I want God to have their own, you know, their own relationship. He said, your calling is your calling. You can't you can't run from it. Yeah. you. you I mean, I... I if anything that I, I at this point, what I, I'm looking at, and I'm talking about what I'm doing going into the new year, how I'm doing things, um, one of the things, uh, me and my wife, we've been doing the uh, Bible study again. Mm-hmm. Um, we got a caller. Hit, hit the speaker the, right there. Hello, caller. Please state your name and where you calling from. Uh, my name is William Slade. I'm calling from Winchester, Virginia. How you doing, sir? Happy New Year. How you doing, Rodney? I'm, man, I, I, I can tell you, for real, for real, I am blessed. I'm highly favored, and I'm making big moves in my life. <laughs> That's good to 
here, man. You know, you know, I caught it in, man. I, I definitely caught it at the right time. Um, let me go ahead and mute this phone because I'm watching you and I'm hearing myself in the background and stuff. But, um, man, what she is saying is so powerful because um, realizing that you have two cups and don't forget, I'm 31, man, so I'm still on this journey myself. So my cup, two, I had two cups. My cup was still spiritually first. I've been on my spiritual journey since 2016. And so when I had filled my spiritual cup first, the external cup is now being filled. Wow. And um, I didn't understand that until she put that into perspective just now. And I just wanted to call in real quick, you know, just say what she said was profound, man. It just kind of like blew me out the water, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it, it, was, it was like perfectly said because, um, like she said, everybody has their own journey, but God, you can't really put your journey on anybody. Uh -huh. And um, knowing that, I became quiet. But when I get, you know, when we get together, when we start talking, a lot more come out than my average conversations. But, um, mm -hmm. again, man, um, what she said was very, very, like, mind-blowing for me over here, man. I'm, I stood up. I was sitting in the bed and just stood up. I was like, that, that's what it is. That's exactly what it is, mm -hmm. man. And God but, um, wants you to speak your truth as it is. Because Always. because what it what it gets to happen is that everybody gets to realize that it's your own relationship with God and it looks all right. different ways but people are you know taught sometimes the old fashioned way that it looks this way in church it looks that way in church and it looks this way but actually God talks to us in many different ways when mm -hmm. I turned down that Bible for a minute He still spoke to me. Yes. He spoke to me into a way that I would understand that it got me out of bed. Like when I did my vision board, he literally got me out of bed to tell me this. Like he woke me up and said, this is it. You need to hear yeah. this. And, and I'm the same way. Um, like I said, I'm 31, but I grew up in church. I'm a drummer, a professional drummer. So I grew up in church playing the drums in church. And it took me to when I was about 26. And I asked one question. And then that made me look at the Bible differently. So I was like, you know what? You know, you got to, from what I've been taught the last four or five years, you know, you got to look at the Bible consciously. Okay. You know, don't grow from, you can't kind of take it for what it is. You can, I, and, and I mean this in the most respectful way. I don't try to, you know, knock anybody's point of view of the Bible and church and everything. Uh -huh. But the way I interpret it now is more of a, you know, I guess I would say psychological consciousness way of interpreting the Bible. Yes. And when I found out that God was in me, inside mm -hmm. of me. That's what he's talking about. Yes. That mirror, that mirror works. So when I, I was there, when Rodney had the last function, one thing I said was, look inside the mirror, but stare into your eyes. You're going to feel three things. You're going to cry. You're going to, you're going to, be scared or you're going to be happy yeah you're going to smile because yeah the, the the crying is filling his power yes the scared is realizing that it's something inside of you way more powerful than what you see mm. speak uh -huh. the truth bro speak the truth and, <laughs> and the happiness <laughs> is realizing you just became one with god come on yes. now yes yes that's the you know? love he wants mm, to, mm, mm. to show that's yeah, so that's powerful. That's why I tell people all the time, don't look up to the sky for God. Don't bow your head down, mm -hmm. hug yourself. Same that self-love is yes. some concept. That's what it's all about getting into with God. It's not really about yourself because people think self-love is taking care of your exterior. No. Uh -uh. You take care of the interior first mm -hmm. and then all the greatness in God's presence reflects out and then your whole world is changed. So it's just like everything you said was just like I'm over here. I'm I'm not very easily moved. <laughs> but I hopped out of this bed. I was like, man, I'm about to go to the gym now. She talking over there. <laughs> hey, Ronnie, she talking, man. Yeah. Well, you know what? I appreciate you so, bro. I, first of all, I can't wait till you get in and come in and sit down with us because you being thirty 
in your thirties, man. You're a powerful young man, and I have much respect for you. Every time you and I talk, um, we we have a real, real good um, conversation, and I leave with some knowledge, even saying you still can teach your old dog new tricks. <laughs> Also, also. <laughs> but I appreciate it, man. Um, I'm still watching, and again, um, I didn't catch her name, ma'am, but oh, my goodness. Christy Love. Christy Love. All right, I remember that. Hopefully, when Brighton throws the next function, I get to meet you in person. Oh, yes. I remember you. I saw you. Oh, hey, man. See what, what you was see? That? What was that? Hey, was Look, you know, a lot of people <laughs> don't know that was my first time talking on the microphone. Oh, okay. You did I'm very really well. Sitting back behind the drums, so that was that was my first time. I love having first time, so that was a blessing for me. All right. Well, can't wait for many more. Yes, ma'am. All right, y'all enjoy. My brother. Yes, sir. Uh, all right. What what I want to do here, and I keep going back to this, is this is something that's real, real powerful. So, uh, as I said, when. My, my my wife and I we we decided to go visit some friends of ours and they took us right into Romans and we was reading the book of Romans and so something that got me now this is funny because you had a topic that you was doing prior but then when I start speaking about this 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 process of uh, letting go and letting God and trying to really be spiritual about some things you was mm -hmm. like Rodney I want to change the topic uh -huh. you know but that was the spirit talking mm -hmm. right. Let me read this. But you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If indeed the spirit of God dwell in you, not if anyone does not has this, have the spirit of Christ, he is not his. And if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because, because of righteousness. But if the spirit is if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal body through his spirit who dwells in you. Yes. I keep reading that because we was talking. Now, this is what I, reason why I wanted to go back and, and, and bring that up was you was talking about the cup. Mm -hmm. Okay. You was talking about being overwhelmed, but you was talking about how God was coming to you. Uh -huh. And that's the spirit getting into you. When we are of the spirit, then what happens? We start to become much smarter, mm -hmm. more aware. Mm -hmm. We're able to look at ourselves, which... Uh, Wiser. Yeah, and which was something that even with my, my, my life coach that I was talking about when I let go and let God, what it is is that I'm not allowing the spirit to... To help me and it goes back to what you was talking about about the cup mm -hmm. so when I'm looking at everything that was I felt overwhelming I was like oh my goodness for real for real it's not overwhelming mm -hmm. I was per I was making it that mm -hmm. I the physical me exactly but when I became the spiritual and be we made in God's image mm -hmm. And we understand that when we understand being made in his image, that's when the Holy Spirit gets in you. It makes a difference to you. And so then I realized my cup, it, 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 if it was overflowing, it was overflowing with blessings. It was overflowing with love from God. And it was overflowing with wisdom and understanding, which I want to say to many people out there, I, I am so excited where I'm going in 2022. Um, where, where my coach said, she wanted to know what was my what I'm going to do different. I'm letting go and letting God. I'm surrendering. What am I doing? I'm not being judgmental. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm I'm starting to open to people, um, and, and and my life coach is still in the room. So if you want to chime in, mm -hmm. you, you can you can you can chime in because I know this is 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 uh, 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 really profound what we're talking about. So I, I want to tell you that. In my journey where I'm at right now, I am so, so, I feel uh, a sense of that I'm just kind of like feel like I'm reborn. Yes. Wow. I, I just want to say, it's, I feel it, it really comes to me when the way you're saying it and, and the whole thing together, it's, it's well integrated inside you. And that's what, that's what I see in you now. 
<laughs> and just want to say that I'm so proud of you that you've come to this realization. Well, it's going to be a beautiful journey. With all of us, though, you know what's so powerful? Mm. Um, man, how powerful God is. That it's not that we do it alone. Mm -mm. We share. You know, um, a lot of people, I, I, we keep it real in here. So there's other people in the room. I got one of my brothers that came back from overseas. I got Ehab back in the house, man. <laughs> he, he ain't been here 24 hours and came in and, and started dusting things off and moving and making things, you know, pop. But, but it, it, let, me, let me say this. When we, as a people, understand we are really made in his image, we have the power to change all negative things around us. Mm -hmm. And you got to trust and believe that God has you. As you said, when you 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 sometimes you gotta you, you gotta kind of back out of the Holy Spirit so you can look around and really, really smell the coffee. Mm -hmm. Really look and say, you know what? God is doing some amazing things. But now you, you don't you can join in you 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 more <laughs> come here come in come 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 in here please please so I also have um like three things that I'm working on for the New Year's and um yeah maybe that's so my three things I was told <laughs> by by God mm -hmm. is preparation because there's a lot of blessings coming for 2022 so God wants us to prep for the blessings that's great. and mm -hmm. He said um, to listen. To listen, to I listen. Love that. So mm -hmm. it was in faith. Those How are the is the three listening ones. different from 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 the previous years? Let's say. So this listening is the quiet listening, the the sounds and what's being told, but you can't hear. Sometimes you listen to the stillness, what's missing in I the mean, environment. Oh my goodness, she is great. <laughs> L listen to that stillness. This is big word. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes you figure out like, okay, this is what's going on. What's missing? You just listen. The quietness, he's going to tell you. And what is amazing is that you wait because sometimes you have questions. When I did my vision board, I had questions. How do I spread your love all over the earth? Okay. He already knew that. Uh, okay. He already gave me the songs that's going to support me through the confusion. Mm -hmm. I was so confused and I want to be obedient, but I didn't know what to do. So he gave me the songs to let me know. He supports me and loves me as I figure out mm -hmm. why I wait for the answer. So what I'm what, what I'm hearing here, it's once you uh, once you put it out there, and then uh, it it comes to you in signs, right? The universe yes. of God gives it back to you in, in, in signs. Yes, but the difference mm -hmm. of 2022, mm -hmm. the things He's giving me is the things that I've already put in the ground last year, the year before last, and He says the blessings. You planted it. And I planted it, and down. He says your ancestors planted it. So He says every prayer that your ancestors have prayed for you. The blessings are coming in 2022. Oh, that's beautiful. And he says to listen and the preparation to prep for your children's and the generational blessings that are coming from, for them. Mm. So, and he gave me the, the Bible story of um, manna when it came from Exodus when the um, slaves were leaving and they mm. were going into the promised land and they needed food. Okay. So then he, he gave us the story how he promised to feed them. And then there was instructions on how to collect the manna mm -hmm. and how to eat it. And then don't, don't uh, hoard it or it's going to get worms and all of that. So he's mm -hmm. like, have the faith. It's going to come back have tomorrow. The uh, That's where yes. the faith is coming and the instructions. Mm -hmm. And then he was saying um, that you need to prepare. So they prepared. And then in the later part of the manna story, mm -hmm. he was telling them how to prepare the manna to travel for the rest of the journey. And he's like, that's where the ancestry um, blessings, now the blessings for your, your, your grandchildren's children's or children's. By you listening and doing the preparation, they're going to get blessed because your ancestors did the preparation for you. Mm -hmm. And you're getting all those ancestry blessings. He wow. says it's coming wow. in 2022. How does it feel for you to feel that? Because it's such a responsibility, right? <laughs> it's, it's, it doesn't feel heavy. Oh, that's it doesn't feel heavy because he's telling me everything. He's giving it, you the direction. He gives me the direction. You're, you're inspired by it. I'm yeah. inspired, yeah. and mm -hmm. it's not hard when you have the instructions. The hard thing is when you're going into the unknown. Leaping yeah. into the unknown is very difficult for me. Or maybe I would say 
being comfortable with the unknown, mm-hmm. meaning surrendering to that because yes. you know that something great yes. is coming your way. Yes. yes. So that's that's really great. Yeah. I, I'm 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 just chiming in because you <laughs> use the word again surrendering, uh, and which is really what we have to do. It's, it's what Christy is saying in another way too. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. we have because to because that's we my have theme. Surrender. That's my whole theme about mm-hmm. flowing. I always believe you should flow, and people always say be grounded, stay in one position, do this, be steady. But I want to flow and stay strong through the waves. I'm always about water and and flowing, oh. so. I can still be steady and grounded while I'm moving and flowing, it, it, going with it. Right? You're yeah, it, it's it, mental. It, 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 doesn't ma- it, doesn't make, it doesn't mean that you have to stand still. Exactly. You can be still inside yourself while you're moving, while you're dancing, while you're doing anything else. And that's life. It's always that's moving. Well. It's, it's in motion, yeah. It's yeah. everything in motion. Great. I, oh, uh, and <laughs> I, wa- I want to thank you for an inspiration you, you gave me last week when we were talking about... Um, a word you carry with you for the new year. Uh-huh. And I, I, I'm borrowing your word, manifestation. Okay. Yes, yes, manifestation. Manifestation. So yes. this year is a manifestation. Absolutely. Yeah, so it's we put things in motion and believe it so that you can see it. If you can, if you can believe it, then you can see it. Well, if you believe well, it, you this, can this achieve it. <laughs> this is what I say. If you can conceive it, then you can you achieve, can it. achieve it. it. That's and then, it. And, and you know something? Let me say this. Sometimes... We, we, I, it's just little words that we are talk among each other. You talked about surrendering. We talked about standing still. We talked about flowing. Mm-hmm. We talked about, but all of this is within us. Yes, absolutely. Right. It, it's all inner work. It's all inner thing, inner work. Well, uh, wait, now I'm jumping around a little bit. It went back to the little boy in me. Oh. <laughs> when my session started, she said, "Oh, <laughs> it, 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 it made a, it made a, it made a change of seat a little bit." She said, "We're going there." Yeah, no, but 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 that was again me being able to find myself and stand still for a minute to acknowledge that I can surrender the evilness, the hurt and pain. I can let it go. I can let it go, and I can move forward. And doing this is such a good thing when I acknowledge that God has given me that power. Is it because you forgive yourself or you're just... just... Oh, my goodness. Come on. There you go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you got you to give me that. <laughs> what did you tell me? What did you tell me? Yeah, forgive, forgive myself. Forgive because that's when the growth one. happens. Come on, and yes. And it creates mm-hmm. space. Yeah. That's and that's one. that movement. That... that... Hey, y'all starting to scare me a little bit. <laughs> I got I got chills going on over here. Cause, but forgiveness, mm-hmm. understanding, mm-hmm. and you know if I if I can one more thing, you know what I found out. So me and my wife was talking about this the other day. We were saying sometimes when you read the Bible, things get a little confusing, right? Mm-hmm. Cause the Bible, you can read one scripture. And I can read the same scripture and, 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 and another person read it. And what happens? It can't, it, we, we, we get a different, Three different interpretations. Get, so you know what I start doing now? Mm-hmm. I go back to the scripture until I, I, I really understand what was the message God had intended for me. For you. Because all of us get our own message from the same verse. Because he's talking to us individually. And that's what I loved when God was talking to me and he gave me those love songs. I love the Bible. I say I love it, but this is a cookie cutter and guidance. It's a guideline for everybody. But he talked to me one on one and had a specific a special message just for me. Oh, come just on. like when you read it, he gave you a special message just for you. Yes. Ronnie, has, Ronnie has this magic. I mean, he shocks me sometimes. We'll be talking about, uh, and it really, it, it happens. Mm-hmm. We'll be talking about a specific topic, and then he opens the Bible, and here's it. He gets exactly, it's yeah. a direct relation. That's, that's the conversation. That's about. when he's the God, your creator, whatever you want to call it. When he is she, the universe is inside you. We all vibrate on that level. Vibrate. So we all are on this vibration, and he gets the message. This yeah, is it. Is. I, 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 all I could just tell y'all is that God is real. Um, the gentleman called in, William, um, he was an amazing guy. I want to tell y'all, y'all got to tune in next week. Y'all got, hey, this is getting real deep now. <laughs> I, you know something, wow. and, and we didn't plan for it to turn out like this, but I think this might be part of the way we might have to go next week. Maybe. We might have to really, really powwow together because 
um, it, it, the conversation stimulated all of us. It's and, the same topic, yeah. and it's the same topic, and I love it. I thank you, Hanadi, for your, your thank, service thank that you, you give me. You. I thank you, Christy Love, for what you're giving me. But most of all, I thank God and give him praise. Yes. This is real. Thank this you. is uh, people to people. I love it. I love it. Thank you people so people, much. Power to power. Positive thinking people. Woo oh, man, amazing. Yes. yes. God is good. We do not own the rights. To, oh, we do own the rights right. to this music. Oh, we do. Right. Yeah.